how can we include pets in our family? Sure. First of all, I mean, I think you probably just mentioned pet having a pet, whether it's one pet or five pets. It's a massive commitment. Um, especially um, if it's a dog, which I have. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, I'm not a cat person, so I can't really speak about cats. But as somebody who's had dogs all her life, ever since she was a child, I wanted to get a dog when I came here. I've actually got two, um, two Saluki breeds who are um, this sort of local breed here, if mm-hmm. you like. You get a lot of them up for rescue, and I rescued two of them. Wow. One is 16 now, and one is 12. So my dogs are not young, mm-hmm. but I've had them. I've had them for well over sort of 12 years. And it is a massive commitment. And um, I think a lot of people perhaps don't realize that. It's not just the financial commitment. It's the time as well. You know, dogs need exercise. They need feeding. They need vet care when things go wrong. When you go on holiday, you need somebody to look after them. And in my case, um, I put them into boarding kennels. Mm -hmm. So there's a cost involved that perhaps people don't realize. And also, I think your pets aren't a toy and you know they are very sort of emotional beings they have feelings they they have amazing feelings actually as far as i'm concerned i think their feelings are sometimes more intuitive than ours mm-hmm. but it's a big commitment and you know you have to put the time in you know mine because they're salukis they're they're running dogs they love their exercise and so you know i put by at least an hour and a half every day 